Welcome to this tutorial on conventional echo and delay effects. At delay times of 70 milliseconds and greater, conventional repeating effects can be created. If a tape recorder is being used, there will be a limit to the maximum possible delay time, determined by the slowest speed the tape recorder can operate at. No such limitations exist for digital delay lines, which are capable of long delay times and multiple simultaneous delay lines. There are no rules for how time domain effects with longer delay times are employed, but the following are some common techniques. Delay is often used to add spatial dimension and a sense of movement and fluidity to a central performance such as a lead vocal or solo instrument. Typical settings are a stereo delay algorithm, a delay time of 445 milliseconds on the left channel and 455 on the right channel, a small amount of feedback such that only two or three repeats are heard, no modulation, low cut to remove frequencies below 500 hertz, significant high cut decay to dull the sound and ensure it does not clash with the source signal, and the effect is balanced significantly quieter than the source sound. Some modern digital delay line devices and plugins allow the pitch of repeats to be precisely determined, thereby making possible complex and musically harmonic effects. It is sometimes desirable to create delay effects which are rhythmically synchronized to the tempo of a piece of music. A simple calculation can be used. 60,000 divided by the tempo in beats per minute will produce a quarter note, that is a beat delay time, in milliseconds. So, for example, 60,000 divided by 120 BPM equals 500 milliseconds, or half a second. Ping-pong is a stereo delay effect whereby the repeats bounce between two loudspeakers. This effect can be created with two separate delay lines or a single delay line in which the panning of repeats can be precisely controlled. Typical settings are a tempo sync delay time, lots of feedback and no modulation. A multi-tap delay line allows multiple delay lines to be combined. Each delay line can be set to a different delay time and have its source derived from the source signal or one of the other delay lines. Delay times can be subdivided into complex relationships which allow rhythmical patterns to be created which would be impossible with tape delay.
The script for this tutorial, along with accompanying images, can be found at our website projectstudiohandbook.com. We suggest you subscribe at our YouTube channel and join our mailing list at our website to receive notification of new videos, blog posts and subscriber only extras. Thanks for watching.